In today's video, we're going to be inserting our own custom mouse cursors inside of Roblox Studio. I'm going to teach you how you can upload your very own images and also how you can script the mouse cursor in general. Let's start off by going over to Starter Player right here and let's open up Starter Player Scripts. Let's click on the plus icon beside Starter Player Scripts after hovering over it just like this and let's open up a local script. What this is going to do is going to insert a local script into this folder named Starter Player Scripts. And you'll notice that when we play the game, inside of the player service, if we go down to our player right here, mine is Rusty Silly Band, yours will be whatever the name of your avatar is, and then go into player scripts, you'll notice that local script that we just created is inside of this player scripts object right here. So we can click on stop now and go back to our local script. And just right up here, we want to say local player will be equal to game.players.localplayer. What this is, this is the player that the local script that we have is going to be running on. And by that, that local script that was inside of our player, that's going to be replicated into every single player that joins your game. Which means that every player is going to have a unique local script to them. So this local player is going to be getting that specific player that each local script is going to be inside of. Let's go down one line real quick, and we're going to say local mouse will be equal to player colon get mouse. What this is going to do is going to return the mouse that the player is using. And then from there, we can simply drop down a line or two and say mouse.icon will be equal to quotation marks. And here's where we need to find the image ID for our mouse icon. So let's go over to this home button right here. Now, if you already have a custom image for your mouse icon, I'm going to show you how to import that a little bit later. But for now, let's just go over how we can actually change the icon of our mouse. So for that, we're going to click on this toolbox button and we're going to change the search from models over to images. And we are going to search for a mouse cursor just like this. And you'll notice that all sorts of different things are going to appear. You'll notice you'll have these little mouse cursor dots, which I think I'm personally going to use. There's a stake mouse cursor, a spring trap mouse cursor. There are all sorts of different mouse cursors that you can use inside of your game. However, I'm personally I'm using this mouse cursor dot. And how you're going to use it is you simply right click and press copy asset ID. From there, now we have the asset ID of the mouse cursor that we're going to be using. We can say Roblox asset ID colon forward slash forward slash. Right now we're providing the URL for the mouse icon. And then we can paste that asset ID that we just got with control and V or you can right click and press paste. And you'll notice that if we click on play and join inside of our game, you'll notice that my mouse cursor is now the mouse icon that I got from the toolbox. And this is perfect. However, if you would like to go ahead and insert your own custom mouse icon, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's press stop and we can close off the toolbox and we're going to press on this view button right up here and we're going to go right on over to the asset manager. Now this asset manager requires that our game is saved to Roblox. So we're going to press on save to Roblox and we can change the name to whatever we'd like it to. I'm personally going to leave this as untitled game for the moment and you can put any description that you'd like as well. For me, I'm personally going to write subscribe to Rusty Silly Band, which you should do if you haven't already. Helps the channel out a ton and is completely free. However, you do not have to if you would not like to. From here, the rest of the settings do not matter for now, so we can click on save. Once our game is saved, you'll notice it will actually go ahead and load our game. Then once our game is saved, you'll notice all these different folders here on the left. And we want to go over to the images folder, and you'll see this little upload button. Now when you click on this upload button, it's going to allow you to import any file from your computer, and it is recommended that you choose a image file. So this is going to be a PNG, JPEG, and other images like that. So I'm going to go ahead and find the image that I would like to import, and I will come back to you once I have that. Alrighty, so I just uploaded this image right here. It's labeled Ice Cube because just a picture of an ice cube. And you'll notice that it's going to wait a little bit before it's actually able to import, and this is completely normal. But once it's done uploading, you'll notice it'll say completed, and that is fine. So we can X off of this window, and when it comes to the image, you can just right-click on it over here and press on Copy ID to Clipboard. From there, we can go back to our local script, and from here, you can go ahead and replace this whole RBX asset ID and the numbers following it with your new Roblox asset ID right here. And now we go ahead and press play. If the image has not been moderated yet, it's going to appear just like this. 
Now this image is quite large. In fact, it's a little too large. But you'll notice it definitely has changed the image of my mouse cursor. Anyways, that's how you can change your very own mouse icon inside of Roblox Studio. If this helped you out a ton, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.